Hey, yo, everybody. XCI here for a Let's Play of Dig or Die. This is the challenge series right now where I'm basically trying to play this all minimalist like. So I don't make what I don't need to make, I only make enough to get by. I'm trying not to give myself a permanent location. Things like that. So uh, I'm pretty much making this very hard for myself. But. That's part of the fun. I, uh, I figure I always play this game and I always kind of get distracted just building things and playing with the environment and not really pushing things along. So I figured I was going to take a break from the casual series. I will probably still put time into it because I still do love quite a bit about, you know, I, I love I love what this game does with the environment. So I'll always play it. I'm, I, yeah, I know I'm going to flood this whole area. I'm both looking for a way out as well as I don't want to give up this, this uh, coal right here. I need this for... Uh, some next things so the objective for this episode though is um, let me get my ass out of here before I drown is to get across this uh, chasm here and get to the red ferns I need to upgrade I'm going to kill these guys along the way I don't think I need them anymore but I have made a spreadsheet and a flowchart for what I believe is the fastest way to clear this game, which is why I'm doing a minimalist run. I'm basically trying to prove whether or not my flowchart is legit and if I can find unique methods to protect myself at night so I don't have to uh, pick a permanent locale to do things like turrets and deal with like different types of walls and whatnot. You know what? Why wouldn't I kill these guys? I'm going to eventually need their scales anyways. And they can't harm me at night unless I flood my, my chambers. Right now my tactic is to just bury myself in a mountain. And I do not... You know what? I might actually want those bats over... I don't know. They might still be too hard. I'm, I'm going to see how far I can get doing this. Oh, Jesus. I almost wiped myself. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Now, they're thankfully, they're easy enough to dodge. Not when there's more than <laughs> one of them like this. So, my hope here is that I can I say don't push me off while I'm in oh no see it no I don't want that no you know what forget it I'm gonna come back when these guys forget that I was here <laughs> now I think there's a biome wall like I said they'll kind of perch if you get far enough along they will stop chasing you I said stop they will stop chasing you I said here let me just push them off the screen a little bit yeah let me try to get this guy over here Oh, God, I just moved my window. Oh, God, I hate when I do that. Okay, no, no. Okay, let's go back. I just don't want to get caught out here. I, I would even say midday is really risking a wipe. Now, I don't mind losing. Like, I'm not trying to do this on one life or anything like that. But I, you know, I'm still trying to make this a quick run. So, uh, and a short series, so probably drink that right there now I, I think that's not I'm just gonna do it so here's how I'm thinking of pulling this off right there okay so now I might run into trouble because I would like to have more time I think the bats will will definitely come at me I need stone anyways but this isn't the kind of stuff you want to chew through with a miniaturizer when you're a little bit in a rush you know I need five of these flowers I've hit red dirt which is a good it's a good sign because it means it's faster to dig through and here we go we got a nice open area here uh, I kind of I was trying to avoid doing that because sometimes it actually ends up being slower oh there's ore up there though I kind of need and want okay so let's grab this on the way up okay so we're at midday that's not too bad not quite midday so it's not too bad and I don't see any flowers nearby. There they are to the left. Oops. Okay, let's, oops. Oh, okay, well, whatever. I need that spot anyways. To purge myself, there's some ore to the right over there as well. But we are definitely going to move along. I'm just going to grab that piece right there. Let's Sure, let's just carve our way through here. Probably faster than trying to jump up. Now, are those guys coming at me right now? You know what? I'm going to just push past these guys as long as they don't kill me here there we go just gonna get some potions ready and gulp them along okay now let's try to steal these as fast as possible and make a run back uh, as you can tell I am definitely trying to not kill these guys um, I 
you guys done with me? You done, you done yet? You done yet? You done yet? <laughs> okay, I'll just keep going. Okay, let's take some of these trees. Oh, that's a lot of ore right there, though. This is the problem with the... I mean, because you need this stuff anyways, but the problem with doing a minimalist... And it's not quite a speed run. I think I've already said that because I don't want to suggest that I'm not going to stop and uh, take ore that I need, you know, uh, that I think I need later on. I'm trying to be preemptive. I do have objectives set for every day, whether or not I hit them or not. You know, it depends on, you know, whether or not I see a solid vein that I could take advantage of, right? So I definitely have, you know what, here's the benefit of doing it this way, though. I don't need to run any further. I could just do it right here. Let's pop a three here. The reason why I need this is because I want this laser gun as fast as possible. So I'm going to try to get somewhere safe at night. Oh, uh, wait, what is this one again? I don't really need that. So I'm going to skip that. Like I said, minimalist run. I'm going to save those resources. I'm going to make more healing potions because I've got no other use for those horns. I can make coal that way too if I needed to speed that up. Do a quick search here. I don't need Gatling guns uh, or turrets or anything like that. I could probably go back and try... Oh, actually I don't mind staying on this side of the world to be honest. I was going to say go back and uh, flood the, the other side of the world, but why am I in a rush to? This is what I need. I need this for, no, I'm not going to make these at all, actually, I don't need these, I'm going to use stone all the way through until I get to the crystal biome stuff, which is all I actually need. In theory, I can, I'll find out how much of this I'm right about or not. This is the one I want. So red fireflies are next. You know what, um, I might as well start moving my way back even though, oh, uh, coral. Yeah, I need the red gems here too. I need to upgrade this. So I'm heading to the uh, volcano. Now I do need to remember to bring this auto builder back with me every single time because I'm going to try to stay in motion as much as possible. The How this can go wrong for me is if I leave that builder behind somewhere and then I have to make it again. That will suck. I do want this. So I'm not in a rush to get back, but I do need to get back. Um, just because I might as well save that time for uh, no point in getting hit with a dying piranha. There we go. Some cactus pieces there. Don't really need them yet, but I'll take them. Thank you. I'll take you as well if you had, no, you had nothing to drop. Okay, so let's see if I can I can do this with some sort of dignity. Now I think this is going to be a pretty solid attempt here. I, there we go. Okay, so I could probably get don't want to fight you. I might be able to make this jump. We'll find out. This could go a little wrong. Oh, like that, for example. I totally uh, <laughs> was facing sideways there. So this might have caused me to make enemies. Yep. So now we have the bats against us. There was no way I could have come out of that without jumping into the underwater ocean. That's unfortunate. Now, this could work in our benefit because the bats are probably easier to take on than things that shoot at me because they stop to fly to me right so my defense right now is to dig myself into the ground and then let things come at me so best case scenario these guys have to fly at me anyways and they replace these shooting guys we'll find out i'm gonna start digging my hole now oh good oh no 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 good there's like an opening below me i didn't want that that means things can come up from there, which sucks. So this is not a good place to call call sleepy time. Here, let's try to... No, that's not good either. Here, let's try to go through here. No, this isn't good either. I'm going to go a little deeper, which could not work in my full find out. <laughs> I need to make a decision quick, though. There we go. Here it is. It's stone, which is good because uh, it's not so easy to chew through. Okay, something's chewing something somewhere. I would have liked to have another body of water above me. That seemed to work in our favor last time. I'm going to quickly save before the night starts so that if I wipe here... Now, they do get confused at things like this. That's always something that's amused me. Like, I know you want a piece of this. You're not, but you're just going to carve everything away instead of... Just, 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 just coming around a little bit, right? You just, you just, okay, no, no time to play around here. Okay, so let's see. I don't want things spawning up here, although I'm, I'm a hundred percent certain they are going to come from that location. 
so here come the bats. So as long as the bats replace um, the fireflies, I might be okay. Now, as you can see, they take way too many hits, so I'm definitely going to wipe here. Yep. So let's see if I can shotgun my way out of this. Shotguns at least push things back a little bit. I do need to heal myself, but I do not have the... Uh, oh, damn. Yes. Nope, okay. Reload. So this could be a bad place, and I might want to try something else here. I might, I'm going to go a little deeper here. Nah, they're just going to come through here, right? So this might not work either, but I'm going to make a run for it. <laughs> I could go into a da more dangerous place. This is hilarious. But hey, it's all part of this challenge. If I can't defend myself, I'm going to take some ore while I'm on the run. Uh, by staying still, then I'm going to damn well try to run my run away as best as possible. Now, if this is dirt, this could work in my favor here because I can hold my own pretty good. If, see, it's the fireflies, man. I wish these guys weren't, weren't part of this, you know? But I got a good spread here now. Now, hopefully my, my rear is covered. These guys can go down before this guy becomes a threat. I can get him and hide. I don't think these guys will get to me or these guys, so I might be in a good place. We'll find out. We'll find out. The hounds aren't too much of a threat. They seem to go down with one shotgun blast, which is pretty cool. And I should probably save my shots for when there's multiple enemies. Way better. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the hard part of the night, though. Here's when things get a little silly. I just, I don't want to be in these kind of corners. You know, I want to be able to hit as many things as possible, maximize the shotgun spread, and not doing it right there because they came from different areas. That sucks. There we go. Come on, Angie. Keep coming at me. So far, so good. This is a good, this is a good tactic right here. Find yourself an area that has a nice, like, triangle entry like this so that you can use a shotgun to uh, keep things at bay. But I thought that was going to go way worse. I thought I was going to have to reload like seven times. So part of this thing isn't isn't to clear this with one one life. I think I've said it's uh, I'm willing to reload. I just uh, I do have to remember to save games before the night actually kicks off. Otherwise you're done. You're screwed. You're kind of committing. So there you go. That wasn't too bad. That was day three. Uh, I got some ferns, which means I just want to kill this off before I end the episode so I don't get caught off guard here. I think these guys just murdered themselves. So that's it guys. Welcome to the challenge. The minimalist pseudo speed challenge I guess. I don't know if it is going to be or not. I'm, uh, I'm willing to uh, try things out. So come on back next time see if uh, this series survives. I'm doing this one day at a time to see how long I, I can last. Until then don't forget to explore, engage, and inspire folks. Peace everybody. While I'm while I'm at it, I don't have the luxury of my other playthroughs where I have a band, uh, a base that completely fortifies me. So I'm going to build this while I can. I still have plenty of time.